Hi, my name is Grace and welcome to the Smart String Student YouTube channel, the channel that's going to help you learn strings quickly and successfully. In this video, we're going to learn how to do pencil bow hold exercises. So you should have learned how to hold the bow on a pencil already. And if you're playing cello or bass, it should look like this. Your fingers should be nice and squared, straight up and down and your fingerprints should be past the pencil. It should not be touching the pencil like this, so make sure they're past the pencil. If you're playing violin viola, same thing, except your pinky should be on top, and as you put your pinky on top, your other fingers should turn down and slant like that. Okay? Also, you want to check to make sure that you have this shape, which I call a backwards G and you don't want to bend your thumb the wrong way and the tip of the thumb should be the only thing touching the pencil. Okay, the first exercise we're going to do is called stir the pot. So I want you to hold your pencil straight up and down like this and stir the pot like this. So you want to make sure you keep your pencil straight and as you're doing this what I want you to do is check for your backwards G and make sure the tip of your thumb is the only part of your thumb that's touching the pencil. The second exercise we're going to do is called rocket ship wrist. And again, I want you to start with a straight pencil. And what you're going to do is pretend this pencil is a rocket and we're going to make the rocket go all the way up and all the way down all the way up and all the way down and your job is to keep the rocket straight so you don't want the rocket to go like this okay keep it straight and as you're doing it what you're going to notice is in order to keep the rocket straight your wrist actually has to do some bending so when the rocket's all the way at the bottom your wrist is bent inwards like this and when your rocket is all the way at the top it bends out. So as you're doing this exercise I want you to memorize how that feels, how your wrist feels because that is really important for keeping your bow straight when you start playing. And we're also going to use this movement in one of the other exercises. Okay, so remember what rocket ship wrist feels like in order to keep the rocket straight. All right, this third exercise is for the violins and violas only because they have to put their pinky on top of their pencil. So hold up your bow hold and what I want you to do is just push down on your pinky like this to make the pencil go up and down. And this is called pinky push-ups. And this just gets you used to putting your pinky on top of the bow. Whoops. And I also want you to make sure that you don't put your pinky way out here, okay? Keep it close to the rest of your fingers. All right, this next exercise we can all do together, and it's called windshield wipers. So you're going to take your pencil and just go like this, like windshield wipers on your car. And make sure you're going from all the way flat from one side to the other. So don't just do this. And go flat to flat. And later on when we do this with the bow, I'll tell you why we're doing it. This next exercise is for the cellos and basses only, and it's called Super Elbow. So what I want you to do, cellos and basses, is hold on to your upper arm and swing from the elbow like this. Now when you're bowing, most of the movement will come from your elbow, not from your shoulder. So you don't want to be swinging from your shoulder like this when you're bowing, okay? You want to be swinging from the elbow. Next, if you can, I want you to let go and see if you can still keep your upper arm still. 
And if you can do that, I want you to do this next step very carefully. And what you're going to do is you're going to add rocket ship wrist. And this time, try to make the pencil go straight in front of you like this. So what's happening is I've got my up rocket ship wrist and my down rocket ship wrist in order to keep the pencil straight in front of me. Also, the down rocket ship wrist is going to be your down bow and your up rocket ship wrist is going to be your up bow. Down and up like this. And that's how we keep our bow straight. I also want you to check for one more thing and that is called ski slope. Making sure everything is nice and smooth all the way down to our pencil and that you're not holding your bow arm like this. Okay, so everything nice and smooth like a ski slope. And finally, this last exercise is super elbow for violins and violas. So violins and violas, I want you to lift up your arm so that your elbow is as high as your shoulder. And I want you to hold onto your upper arm just like the cellos and basses did and swing from the elbow only. Now, it's really important for violins and violas to not move their upper arm. All your bow movements are going to come from your elbow. So you don't want to be doing this, okay? So make sure you keep your upper arm still. And when you're ready, you can let go. Make sure your upper arm is not moving. And when you're ready, I want you to add rocket ship wrist. And it's going to look like this. On an up rocket ship wrist, you're going to touch your nose with your wrist. And on the down rocket ship wrist, you're going to reach out in front of your right foot and a little bit past. Okay, that's how far you want to go. So up rocket ship wrist, down rocket ship wrist. Up rocket ship wrist, down rocket ship wrist. And again, the up rocket ship wrist is going to be your up bow, and the down rocket ship wrist is going to be your down bow. And just like the cellos and basses, I want you to make sure that your uh, bow arm is a ski slope right down to the pencil. So you don't want to be bent like this, and you don't want to be bent like this. So make sure your arm is a smooth ski slope. All right, so that was the last pencil bow hold exercise. Now, what I want you to do is, when you're practicing these, make sure, again, that you are holding the pencil gently. And also, I want you to make sure you practice these 10 times a day if you can. So, anywhere you are, pick up a pencil, do the exercises as many times in a day as you can. Why? Because you want to get uh, the bow hold and all these exercises into your muscle memory so that when you actually go to hold a real bow, and when you start playing, you know exactly what to do and it will make things so easy to learn, okay? So promise me you'll practice these 10 times a day and we'll see you in the next video once you get the bow hold on the bow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.